Hi, I'm Shan. This is Shani Reads. I'm going to do a June TBR today, which is for Reading Women Month. Um, I will link Kendra's video in the description box where she talks about, um, I think there's lots of prompts that you could do over kind of quite a long period of time. Um, but you could just do like a month of just reading women, which is what I'm doing. So I've got, I think I've got like 11 books on my TBR, which I might not get to. Um, but I do have a week off, so it will involve some reading, which is nice. So I've got some books which I'll go through first, which I've kind of already talked about, so I'll just do them briefly, and then a few that I haven't talked about before. So, also I've got Tennis Elbow, I think, self-diagnosed, so sometimes it's hard to pick up books. This is the first one um, I was going to mention, and I think I mentioned this in the last video, so it's uh, Free Woman, Life, Liberation and Doris Lessing by Lara Fiegel, and it's a book about Doris Lessing um, and the Golden Notebook, and I think it's... Um, you know, kind of about the author as well. It's one of those uh, kind of memoir books. It's about one thing and then about many things and about everything. So that one looks great. I've also got um, a graphic novel, Red Winter, by Anna Lee Trumark, which is a Swedish, I think. Yeah, Swedish graphic novel set in nineteen nineteen seventies. Um, in a, it, it, uh, and there's lots of snow. I thought it was in a commune, but it says communist. Different. I've got Black Swan, Stories by Eve Babbitt, so I was really excited to buy this one, but I don't really know why I haven't read it yet, um, so that's that. This will be My Undoing by Morgan Jerkins, which is, um, oh, Living at the Intersection of Black, Female and Feminist in White America, and this one is like Essays, um, I think that'll be kind of quick and interesting read. The Wicked Deep by Shea Earnshaw is one that I've kind of had on my TBR for the last few months. Um, and hasn't quite happened. It's a young adult kind of witchy novel. I think it's like a mixture of um, historical and present day. And then started this one, which is the Joy Williams 99 Stories of God. These are really short stories. So, like, that one is just like, a, you know, a paragraph. The first one I thought was pretty good. I'm not sure if it's quite for me, this uh, this one there. Um, yeah, that's that though. And then these ones are ones that I uh, haven't mentioned before, a couple from the library, so this one's from the library, it might be a bit shiny. To the River, A Journey Beneath the Surface by Olivia Lang. I've read her two other books, non-fiction ones, and um, I know she's got a novel coming out soon, which I've pre put on hold at the library. So this is one about the River Ouse, which is where, I think it's Ouse, isn't it, which is where um, Virginia Woolf uh, committed, uh, drowned herself. Um, and then I, you know, like her other books, she kind of interweaves other stuff into it as well. I've got Agatha Christie at Bertram's Hotel. This is um, one that me and Bert are doing as a buddy read. I haven't read any Agatha Christie, and I'm not particularly excited about reading this one. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe it'll be fun. It'll be fun reading it together as well. I've got Self Care for the Real World by uh, Nadja Narain and Katya Narain Phillips. Um, I know a few people have been reading this, but I got out of the library initially and, um, you know, says something about Sam Taylor Johnson likes it, Sienna Miller and Reese Witherspoon also fans. Uh, it's kind of, um, I like it, it's kind of really nicely set out. In some ways it's quite light, um, almost, so it's like about mindfulness really and self-care, so in some ways it's kind of a little bit sort of light and slight really, but then also kind of profound, so it's got really simple tips like doing a self-care list and popping it, um, you know, sticking it up somewhere, which we've both done, so that if you're kind of feeling a little bit iffy, you can just look at your list, and my list will probably, I will say, you know, have a bath. So I, I think it's nice, I, I will read all of it um, anyway. Um, I've got two which I haven't mentioned before, which are new books. This one has just got the best cover, it's just got amazing illustration. The illustration is by Lisa Hanawalt. Um, yeah, it's so good. Anyway, it's pre study by Patricia Lockwood. Um, I've just started reading this one as well, so it's about her father who became a Catholic priest um, and it's a memoir as well. So far she's kind of met some guy on the internet and moved, is going to move to Colorado with him. I'm not sure where that will go, but yeah, the cover is just adorable. I think this is going to be a good one. And then I've got this one as well. So I'm in, I've read one of Mary, or maybe half of Mary Carr before, and I'm thinking I'm going to kind of... Um, revisit Mary Carr. This one, Weena Wonders has mentioned it quite a few times as a book she really loved. I'll link her uh, channel in the description. 
and um, it sounded good. I think she's, you know, I, I like Mary Carr anyway. Um, we, I've liked the sort of stuff she said recently about David Foster Wallace as well. She was good friends with Philip Roth, of course, has uh, recently died, and about she's been sort of talking about how sad um, she's been about that. And um, yeah, I think she's she's great. This one is about her writing, but also about drinking and getting sober as well. Um, it's quite big. Um, yeah, I think that that sounds great. I'm really excited to read this one. So that is my pile, uh, my my TBR. So if you're joining in with reading women. Um, let me know what you were reading or if you've read any of these let me know um, what you thought of them as well and I will see you soon because I've got like lots of things to do I've got um, my wrap up for Maid coming up as well so uh, yeah have a lovely weekend I will see you soon bye